Hello everyone, this is Tomek D from the Coin Dictionary, and today I will be going through the basic overview of this one Grosh coin of the year 1990. I'll be going through its mintage, history, uh, data, and other things. So let's begin. As you can see, this uh, is uh, one Grosh coin from 1990, as I said. Uh, it was minted uh, in manganese brass, which was the norm for this type. Uh, it's Dimensions are uh, 15 and a half millimeters in diameter, which means this is a very small coin, and this is a US dime, for example. Uh, 1.2 millimeters in thickness, the edge looks like this, and it weighs uh, 1.64 grams. It is in metal orientation, which means uh, the obverse and reverse are aligned like this. Uh, it was uh, minted in 1990s, which means this is the first year of issue for this design. It was minted up until 2014 with two years, 2013 and 14, overlapping with a new one. Its mintage was 29,140,000, which makes the, it a key date for this type. However, in every uh, condition other than mint, it's worth face value, which is essentially one quarter of a cent. In uh, mint state, uh, it, uh, its uh, value goes up to five dollars. Uh, it was designed by Eva Tyskarpińska uh, for the reverse, and Stanisław Wątrowska for the obverse. Uh, about it in its design, on the obverse we can see the Polish coat of arms, the writing Rzeczpospolita Polska, the Commonwealth of Poland, the year right there, and the mid park is located uh, right below the right leg of the eagle. On the reverse, there is the denomination, one grosz, and a single oak leaf. For the historical context of this coin, uh, it was minted in the first year of the new Polish coinage, which replaced the previous one, which was uh, made under the communist uh, regime. So I think this, this does it for this video. Thank you, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Christian, the founder of the Coin Dictionary Project, and I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check out my other channel, Treasure Town, and subscribe to that as well. If you're interested in supporting the channel financially, there are links below that are mostly affiliate links where you can purchase something you probably would have been buying anyways, and by going through my link when you buy, there will be a kickback directly to the Coin Dictionary project that will help support its operations. Hope to see you on some of my other videos, as well as on my channel Treasure Town.